Hi, welcome to Nosware. In the previous video, we have shown you how to make recheck report on the visualbasic.net. And in this tutorial, we will show you the final report that we will add a barcode into the report. How to do that? First, you need to download messaging toolkit.barcode.dll. All files and source code you can download. We put link in the description. Okay, let's see our last project first. This is our last project first looks like. There is nothing barcode in here. And we will add the barcode after the table or the price here. Then, in here, we need to add reference. Add the messaging toolkit.parco.dl that you just download. Click add in here and click OK. Now, we could do the good. We will add barcode code here I will make this bigger for example like this I'm sorry We will declare the messaging toolkit.barcode for barcode encoder. Then we are using try to handle if something's error. Okay. In here, we need to declare team barcode image. In here, we will generate the image for barcode. For key barcode in here, dot encode as a messaging toolkit we are using barcode code 128 format in here And for the code, it's better we are using a string. It's based on the our ID of a report. If uh, you can see here, this is the ID of our reports that appear on the barcode. It's better you are declare as variable in here. But uh, you can just improve this later. It's mean uh, the barcode when we are using scanner, it's uh, typing this ID. So the value is the same with uh, our ID. Okay. But uh, I suggest you, you are declare this as variable rather than just type like this. Okay. I hope uh, you understand what I mean in here. Okay. Graphics. Sorry. 
throw emits in here very good emits because we need uh, to add this barcode uh, on center so uh, we need to make the e dot big bounce dot width this is dash or minus 150 because uh, this is half of big width in here and divide with 2 this is 35 plus 8 uh, 2 ok, head 2 is follow this ok then for position okay like this and because this is replace the string thanks for shopping in here we need to change this value uh, higher for example I'm using 70 and in here I'm using 85 like this and we can try to uh, run this project I'm sorry uh, this is fireworks <laughs> if you uh, hear the sounds <laughs> for example like this just test first okay the barcode will look like this and I mean this barcode ID is the same with this okay I will show you later I will scan this with my phone okay we will show you this is 4G mm, salt Uh, ice cream mm, sugar if we are prints it will look like this this barcode is referred to the invoice ID and it's better you are using variable and then fill the invoice ID is the same values with the barcode I hope uh, you understand in here and let me show you when I scan this barcode is appear the text of DRW8555RA let me show you in here okay in here I will using barcode scanner let's scan our barcode in here you can see uh, if I'm scan this barcode okay you can see the text is referred to invoice ID and uh, the employee just scan this barcode rather than type this manually okay that's all tutorial uh, how to make a final recap with barcode of course on vb.net don't forget you can download all source code and the tools we put link in the description hope this video helpfully for you